I majored in physics in Germany. <laughs> and I'm currently doing my master thesis in medical physics. I work with multiple scientific research groups. And the more I look back at my early high school days, the more I realize how much these things are a scam. You'd think that the higher you go into the science fields, the better calculators you need to crunch all that math. And that all university exams, for example quantum or atomic physics, you'd need to calculate a lot of complicated maths. Why is this a scam opposed to this one? For everything you own, there's a price that you pay for, and the things that it allows you to do. Let's first look at smartphones. My phone is probably the cheapest of the bunch. It was 150 euros and it does everything. It takes pictures, I can call people, play games. And the jump from no phone to having a phone is huge, life-changing in fact. So we have a low price and a huge performance. And the latest iPhone that exists is one of the best phones money can probably buy. But it does kind of everything that cheaper phones can do, but of course with better quality cameras, faster processors. But the difference in having a cheap phone and the latest phone is not that big. Literally any of these would be fine. Even this in most exams you'd be fine in universities. This behavior is similar to any other thing you own, including calculators. Yes, they can do this. But the main aspects are still there. You have all the numbers, all the operators, it's all there. And I had a lot of math classes. And for all these calculations you see on the screen, you don't really need a calculator. In fact, I took analysis one, two, three, and not once ever I had to use. They're not even allowed in exams, as you can store information in it. And for the final boss, we have researchers, the top guys in their fields. They don't use Science is nowadays done in computers. I graph most of my stuff in Python. I work with CT images on Python. I'm sure there are gazillions of other ways that are much better than. So why should we force each and every individual high schooler to buy this? It is old, outdated technology and not even that widely used. If you watch the video about calculators, you're probably into studying. And this video explains the absolute best technique how to study or practice anything. 